hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a little bit something different. Um, so today, as you can see, you're seeing the Arteza uh, blend, Everblend markers that are brush tip. I brought these markers to you maybe a week or two ago in, on the channel. Check up in the eye for that video and I'll have it up there where I show them. And I think I used them a little bit. So um, when I noticed that they had their brush tip markers i told you guys that i wanted to get all of their markers now i do wish that they had these markers in a complete set so you didn't have to buy them separately because full regular price is 89.99 for this 36 pack yeah no so i wasn't paying that price for them um because i knew black friday was coming so i was gonna see what sale they had for black friday so that's what i did so what did i get for Black Friday from Arteza. Now, you guys already know, like I said, I already had the skin tone markers. I'm trying to move some stuff out the way so I can make some room for myself. Then we also have the grays. So we have our gray tone markers here. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. We have the gray tone markers. So these are the 36 gray tone blendable markers. And they have a brush tip and a nizzle, a nizzle, nizzle, <laughs> chisel tip. So I'm going to get a bag at some point to put all of these in so that they're all together. Because like I said, I really wish that they had these in a set. I do like the boxes that they come in though. So I'll probably store the boxes somewhere. Nah, maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of a hoarder in that way. You ever buy something with a nice box and you don't want to get rid of the box? Okay, I don't know what that was. Okay, apparently that was some kind of a key. I'm not sure what that key is for. But these are the 36 gray tone markers. So these are all the tones that are in this box set. So uh, I have the gray tones of their brush nibs as well. And of course, when you open it up, you got to break that spine. Because then when you go to work on them, boom. Look at that. I love it. So when you go to work, uh, use these. They are in the plastic, so you can take that plastic off. So we're going to try to get this out of here without breaking a nail. There we go. <laughs> so I do like, like I said, I do like the box that they come in and that you can set it up for whenever you're, you're uh, using the markers. But like I said, I want to get one of the Arteza bags like I have for the other set. Um, just so... I have a nice place to put all of them and I'm not having to have multiple boxes on the desk because these boxes take up a lot of room. So I'm just pretty much gonna go over and you can tell the brush tip from the nib tip on these markers because it's indicated with a gray line. So there's your brush part, your brush tip there and then your broad tip. All right. So, I, like I said before in the other video, I like the fact that they have the color on the barrel and not just on top because what I've experienced with some of my other markers from Arteza is that this wears off, okay? Their markers don't stack, but this part wears off. So, it's nice to see that they have it here and I'm interested to see if this part will actually wear off as well. But they are a nice uh, triangular shape for uh, comfort grip. So, I do like that. And it's funny because they have like warm gray number three, number two, number one, number four, number five, and number six. They have blue gray, they have cool gray, they have warm gray, they have neutral gray, blue gray, gray yellow. Look, listen, we're gonna have to pull out a book and, and look at some of these, so hold on a second. All right. I just wanna check out what some of these colors look like. This is cool gray. And this looks blue to me, so it says cool gray number five. Um, I'm gonna use the broad tip side. But then they do have a green gray. We're gonna do gray, green number, well, that's weird. It goes eight, six, four, and two for green, the green gray. But they do have a blue gray. Where is it? Blue gray here. They have a blue gray six. 
and a blue-gray 8, but they don't have a blue-gray 5. So let's check out the 4s. So cool gray 4, blue gray 4, green gray 4, uh, green yellow 4. I just want to check out a couple of them. And neutral 4. So these are four different gray tones. So this is gray green. gray green and then we have gray yellow oh that would make some awesome hair so there's our gray yellow let's give this a little bit more over here because this says gray green but nothing about that says green to me what about you you think that says green to you uh, I don't know. Do they match their tops? Let's take a look here. From the looks of it, it looks like it does match the top. What about this green yellow? Oh yeah, that definitely matches the top. Definitely. All right. So let's try another one. What's this one? Cool gray four. That's cool gray four. It's a CG. And then we have neutral gray number four. Let's check that out. I like how it gradients when you do this, when you just do the flick of the wrist. These two look really close to me, but then so does that one. I can see the hint of green as it dried. And then we have uh, gray blue, sorry. Gray blue. Ooh, see that one looks like a gray blue. Like it has like an undertone of gray in it. Like I can, I can see it in that one. I can see it in that one. So let's try blending a couple of these together. So we're gonna try to blend neutral and cool together because they look close. All right, so these two. dry a little bit so we have I believe neutral gray is on this side and then cool gray is on this side and it looks like they blend it well let's try this Yeah, look at that instant blend. You see that? They definitely blend well. So that is the gray collection from Arteza, the, the gray uh, tone markers. We're just gonna kind of throw those back in there. And we're gonna piggyback them back into their box. So that's the gray tone markers. But wait, there's more. So on Black Friday, Arteza had a sell on a lot of their stuff on their website like most companies did and this cell had these marked as $33.99 so every one of these packages ex well except for the skin tones those were sent to me but every one of these was purchased for $33.99 on their site now I am an affiliate with Arteza so if you're looking to get some markers or other art supplies because they have a lot more stuff than they did uh, when I was first showing them. So if you're looking to get anything, you know, craft related or even planners, planners as well. I'll be showing you the planner I got as well. So here's the second one. This is their deco tones. I don't, I want to say decoration, <laughs> but these are their deco tones. But look how bright 
and vibrant those tones are, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So we're gonna get into this. All right, I'm gonna break that spine. Oh, sorry about that. Apparently the spine didn't wanna break. All right, come on. There we go. And then we're just gonna slide that out of there. Now, I'm not sure if my code still works because before it was only a monthly code. If it doesn't work and you're trying to buy something, let me know and I will uh, contact them to update my code. So we're gonna just bust these open real quick because they have a couple of colors I wanna try out in here. Now, I'm not gonna go through uh, the colors, all the colors on this video. Um, I will probably swatch them in my off time like off camera time, but I'm not gonna go through that in a video. That's hella boring. So let's take a look here. So we have fuchsia watermelon pink. That's one we're gonna look at. Does that say piggy pink? We gotta look at piggy pink. <laughs> um, grapefruit orange, we have power or powder pink. Tomato red, which is a normal color that they've had before. Vintage yellow. Marmalade orange. Tuscan sun. That's an another one that they've had before. Uh, they got hot pink. We're going to look at the hot pink. Deep iris purple. Never seen that one. Diamond blue. Okay. Um, butterfly blue. What does that mean? Honeydew green. Green or peas green. Apple green, light cyan blue. That looks green to me though. Uh, winter green, spearmint green, beach blue, and Hawaii blue. Ooh, Hawaii blue. All right, so those are a couple of colors we're gonna look at for this one. And these are the deco tones, okay? They do, they do bleed a little bit, but that's to be expected with all markers. If you don't want it to bleed, uh, put another sheet of paper underneath it whenever you're coloring or, you know, drawing or whatnot. So, let's take a look here. So this is hot pink. Oh, it's definitely hot. I like that. I like that that shade. That, that, is, that is legit <laughs> bright. <laughs> and we're gonna try to blend it with this watermelon pink. We're gonna try to blend it here. Ooh. I like the color that both of them together make. Yes. And they match. Ooh, that smells good. That doesn't smell like alcohol. They don't have a like a, a really pungent smell like most alcohol markers do. So I, I, I did notice that. But look at the color. It, okay. I don't know if you can see this. We're going to get you close. Look at the color it made when you blended them together. So you get like this orangey looking color almost. So I really like that. And as you can see... They match and they pin tops. The pink watermelon one might be a little lighter, but for the most part, yeah, they're they're on the ball there. All right, so let's see what other colors we're gonna mess with here. So we have these two greens, okay? So we have light cyan blue and pea green. So let's take a look at those. Pea green definitely would be the color I would say peas are. And then we have cyan blue. Kind of gives you like a darker blue when you mix them together. And they do blend well. So let's see if we can get like an invisible line here. But yeah, they don't have a very pungent alcohol marker smell. So that's nice for those folks that are, have like that sensitivity to uh, smells. But you can see there that it did blend very nicely. This is the diamond blue. I'm not sure what makes it diamond blue, but it's a blue color. It does match the pink cap. You might have to wait for it to dry to lighten up just a little bit. And then this is the other one that I really want to see, Hawaii blue. What is Hawaii blue? That's like a blue ocean color blue, like. See if we can get those two to blend together. 
the key to blending is doing it fast so that the ink doesn't dry and it has time to like mix together. So like you can see it blending right there. So we have our Hawaii blue and our diamond blue. And then we have our deep iris purple. And we're gonna go kind of down here. So that's deep iris purple. And I'll come back in another video and do a video with these using them on a design that I draw up so that you guys can see them in action. This is piggy blue or piggy pink. I'm slow. <laughs> so these two probably aren't going to blend together the best because they're way off from each other. But uh, yeah, so we have piggy pink and deep iris purple. And then this last color we have is honeydew green, which we're going to blend with the peas. So we're going to go right here to show you what color it is. That is the color of a honeydew. So we're going to go up here. Let's see if we can get a little blending action going. Oh, it blends. It blends very nicely. All right, so those are those colors. So let's go ahead and put those back. Make sure my top is on there straight. Trying to put them back in some kind of an order. That hot pink was over here, and that was there, and that was there. So that is the deco tones. Now on the website now, I'm not sure what the price is, if it went back to its normal price or whatnot, but I just know that I paid the $33.99, so I wanted to get it while I was on the special. This is the Tropical Tones. Now, again, I do wish they would put these in one thing instead of making you buy these all separately, but we'll have to wait and see if they do that because they didn't. it didn't seem like they even really wanted to come out with brush tone markers. Because like I said, I've asked them about it before and they said it wasn't something that they were looking at in the future. It wasn't something that they were looking at in the future. And then all of a sudden, under the cloak of darkness, they came out with the brush tone markers. And I'm like, well, when did these come out? Like, I don't remember ever seeing these. So, like... I've been I've been waiting forever for them to come out with the brush tip or the brush nib markers cuz I'm a brush nib type girl. So there we have it. Tropical tones. So those are the tones that are in this box. So we have some colors I haven't seen before. We're going to go ahead and crack that stuff launch my pen, apparently. It's like meatloaf coming out of a jar or something. All right, let's get these out of here, maybe. There we go. Get them out of their plastic. Free them from their dungeon. This makes me want to draw something. I would draw something today, but I have a feeling this video is going to be a little long. So I don't want to bore you half to death. I just want to show you what colors come in each box for right now. All right, come on. There we go. So what do we have in this box? And the box do, do magnetically close. So, do we have anything interesting that we want to see? We have light clay brown. That could be a good skin tone. Oh, they have a black in here. Uh, let's see, they have a black in here. They have a cactus green, ballerina pink. We gotta look at that. I swear this says narcissist blue. Does that say narcissist blue? Or yellow, not blue. Good God. <laughs> I, th I think it says narcissist yellow. Gotta look at that. Cream pearl, I think I've seen that one before. Apricot, we've seen that. Aquaria pink, I wanna see that. Periwinkle, I've seen that one. What, there, see, there's the wisteria purple. Topaz blue. And I'm also looking to see if they have the same colors in these boxes. And so far, I'm not seeing any of the same colors. Mine is like, here's some grays that we have 
I think in the gray tone box. Let me check. So this box has cool gray number eight. So let me look on this other box here. Um, cool gray. So we have cool gray number eight, which is in the gray tone block or box. We have a blender, which I haven't seen yet in any of the boxes. We have a cool gray number four, which is in the gray tone box. A cool gray number two, which is in the gray tone box. Um, there's no black in the gray tone box, so that's a plus. Um, and so far, Mantis Green, Aurora, Aurea, Aurora, I'm going to guess it says Aurora Green, Pale Aqua Blue, Baby Blue, Sky Blue, Topaz Blue, Sweet Pea Purple, we're going to check that one out, Sea Urchin Red, Peony Pink, and then Cerise Pink, so we're going to check out those colors, but they do have duplicates, so if you get the gray tones, and you get this uh, tropical tones, they do have some of the same. So one, two, three, four of the markers are gonna be the same in the gray tones in there. So if anything, you have a backup in case you use a lot of those gray tones. So I never fuss when it comes to having double of markers, especially if they're not refillable. Um, and as far as I know, these are not. Let me look on the box real quick before I start telling you guys lies. Are these refillable markers? I do not believe they do. They have replaceable nibs, but I don't think they're they're refillable, which kind of sucks. Maybe maybe later on down in the future they'll they'll have some refillable ones. So let's take a look. This is going to be the Aurora Pink. Ooh, I like that color. I'm thinking Galaxy right now. Like this is Sweet Pea Purple. This makes me think of Lavender which I don't think I have a lavender in here. Do I? Nope, I have a lilac. So we have the purple. And they, like I said, they do blend really well. Then we have ballerina pink. So let's check out ballerina pink. Ooh, that's a super pale pink. So that's really cool. I like that color combination. Like I can see like, I can see a girl wearing an outfit like that and this is like her belt, this is her skirt, this is her shirt and it's kind of ruffled and it's sleeveless. Like, look, listen, let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> sea urchin red. Okay. Okay. All right, I see you. And then we have, what's this yellow color? Narcissist yellow. So for those folks that want to know what a narcissist yellow looks like, this is what it looks like. So narcissist yellow, we got like the McDonald's symbol going on here. <laughs> we got the golden arch. <laughs> Apparently, the golden arches are uh, Narcissus yellow. So the yellow actually looks pretty good. And then, like I said, I was interested in this one because it, it might be a great skin tone color. B34 for light clay brown. Sorry, it looks like the nib was coming out. Ooh, that's a perfect little creamy skin tone. I just think I think I just found a new favorite skin tone. I think I did. There was another brown in here. What's this one? This one is pastel orange. That don't look orange. I don't know. That looks like hot chocolate to me. They blend together well. So let's show you over here. So we're going to do some of this. This looks like a cappuccino color. So that's light, or I'm sorry, pastel orange. And then we have light clay brown. And we're going to color blend these together. Y'all. <laughs> Look at that blend though. Creamy, yes. All right, and then this last one that I want to look at in this box is Goldstone Red, which looks like another brownish color. Looks like a dark chocolate brown almost. 
and we're gonna blend those colors. See if we can get a nice blend off that one as well. Sometimes you gotta wait for it to dry. Y'all look, listen, listen, Arteza out here killing the game with their new brush tip or markers. Um, definitely we'll be trying these out next to my Ohuhus to see how they hold up because like, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Like I really, I've always liked Arteza stuff. It's, it is a little bit more expensive, but you know, you get what you pay for it. If you want good quality, you got to pay that price sometime. So that is their tropical tones. The 36 pack. So I'm going to replace them back in their box. Oh, and if you thought that was it, you're sadly mistaken. We have one more 36 pack. Now, I don't know how many of these packages like this that they, that they have. I literally typed it in and then bought all of them because I knew I was going to want all of them. So I went ahead and purchased all of them. And this is their floral tones. So the floral tones, this is what we have to work with in this box. We have some more reds. I see bisque. Look, I'm not going to drop it this time. Look at that. I didn't drop it. We're going to slide this out of here. La la la. There we go. That took forever. Get them out of their plasticky dungeon. Let's pick a couple of colors to look at. So we have cilantro green, green tea. I'll be interested to see that one. We have star yellow, that's great. Uh, citrine yellow, cheddar orange, you know we have to. Um, Delilah pink, poppy red, porcelain peach, which is one that they're known for. Micro green, I don't know what that means, so we're gonna check that out. Jungle green, which I've seen before. Surf blue, wave blue, pastel blue, whale blue, Maya blue. So you're not getting a lot of doubles in this one, but I'm seeing gray colors. We have teak brown. We have bisque. I'm seeing gray colors, so we're going to check those gray tones again. So we have these four gray here which are going to be, oh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, and four. So we have warm gray eight, which is in that box, warm gray six in that box, warm gray four in that box, and warm gray two also in the box. So there are doubles between this box and the gray tones, just like it was with the tropical tones. But that's okay. Again, you have more to like, if you use that color a lot. Pear green, olive green, not really worried about those. Sandstone, I, I know that brick red, we got it. Um, grape green, that sounds interesting. And I'm gonna try this, we should probably pick one of these. Parisian purple, deep pink, blush pink, Delilah pink. We're gonna go with the purple. All right, so let's see. First, we're going for a green tea. That definitely, that, that hits the spot right there. The next one is Cheddar Orange. Um, like, if I'm thinking Cheddar Cheese Dust, not like the actual cheese, because I think it's a little bit more yellow. So, like, that's Cheddar Cheese Yellow or Orange. Then we have Micro Green. Never heard of Micro Green before which seems like a very pale green. This looks like a skirt that I just did. Do a little bit of, it's a skirt. <laughs> but we have micro green. 
We also have this Parisian purple, which seems like a pastel -y color. So we're gonna spin it around here. I'm gonna kind of line them up here so you can see them with their pen caps. Now I wanna make sure you can actually see them. <laughs> so then the next color we have is Teak Brown. Teak Brown. Good God. That is definitely brown. So Teak Brown, which looks like a chestnut brown almost. Then we have Grape Green. That definitely would be a grape green. Definitely matches. And then the last one here is Bisque, which I think I've seen this one. Yes, another great skin tone color. So there you have it for the floral tones. Let's see if we can get these back in here in some kind of decent way. Green tea, pastel orange, purple. So those are your tropical tones. Or, I'm sorry, your floral. Those are floral. So we're going to put them back in their box. We're going to flip that closed. And it does have the magnetic lid so that you can close it. Yeah, I went a little marker happy on Black Friday, but that's okay. Because we're going to see all kinds of things with these markers. So... Let's see here. The last one I got, which they sent me one of them. No, I purchased that one. It was, I want to say it's like the American Tones or something. Like, that's what it was called. I'm not trying to say like, you know, America or anything. I'm just, that's what it was called. So, this was another set that I knew I didn't have. Just trying to get the plastic off these things. They wrap them up good. Jesus. And they did arrive hella quick. So the gray tones came in first. Like, they all sold, like, they all came in, like, separately. The gray tones came in first, and the rest of them trickled in, like, the rest of the week. Not sure why they came in separately when I placed all of them, the order all together, except for maybe one or two. But, uh, yeah, they all came separately. I think some of them came from, because they try to ship them to you from wherever's faster, whether it be from, from Arteza or if it's quicker from Amazon, because Arteza does have art supplies on Amazon as well. These are our pastel tones. So we have sapphire yellow, cream, apricot, peony, pink. That's a, that's a repeat. Ballerina pink is a repeat. Periwinkle is a repeat. Sweet pea is a repeat. Or a repeat. Baby blue is a repeat. Pale aqua blue, not sure. Palomelo green, not sure. But that mantis green is a repeat. So a lot of these are actually repeats to the floral so like let's see do they have the sapphire yellow no sapphire yellow in this one i'm trying to see if any of the other boxes have sapphire yellow sapphire yellow would be located in the tropical tones so white quartz was also in the tropical tones cream pearl also in the tropical tones Apricot is also in the, tro the tropical tones. Peony pink. Peony pink. I just seen that one. Peony pink, I believe, is going to be in. Ballerina. Oh, peony pink is in the tropical tones as well. Ballerina pink is in the tropical tones as well. Periwinkle is in here as well. Sweet Pea is in here as well. Baby Blue is in here as well. Pale Aqua Blue is in here as well. Uh, Palomelo is in here as well. 
and mantis green. So if you get the tropical tones, it has all of them except for the sapphire. Oh, I lied. It has the sapphire in here too. So essentially, if you get the tropical tones, you don't need the pastel tones because those colors are all in the tropical tones. So don't go with the 12 pack, go with the 36 pack because obviously it's going to give you more markers and it's going to be a better deal for you seeing as how you probably want more markers versus just a little 12 pack. So we don't need to necessarily go through the 12 pack because we just went through that other 36 pack, okay? So now we're going to get into things that aren't marker related. Now I found a couple of things that I thought you guys might be interested, whether you're diamond painters or whether you're adult colorist or what have you. So I'm gonna show those to you as soon as I try not to drop all these boxes on the ground. I gotta pick it up here. So I showed you all the cool markers. I think my FedEx package is about to show up. Matter of fact, let me pause real quick so I can make sure that it doesn't ring the doorbell. All right, so we're back. So this here is something I saw that I thought would be great, whether you're an artist or if you're a diamond painter, because uh, diamond painters like to find somewhere safe to store their finished diamond paintings. Um, if they're not gonna hang them up on the wall right away or if they're storing them away because of the season, um, I think you guys should check this out. This thing is massive, okay? It is in small artist portfolio, or a soft artist portfolio, I'm sorry, it's po soft portfolio. It's 26 inches by 38.2 inches long and wide. And it has like these cool zippers on the side. Like, like I said, this thing is huge, okay? It fits over my entire desk, plus some. And it has two zippered parts. And when you look on the inside, it's just uh, this clean material here. And it seems to have had, it has some straps for it on the inside of the thing as well. So you can store, say, your bigger projects in here. I'm gonna say it probably at least a 56 by 56. I'm trying to look at the one on my wall to see what size that is because that looks like it would fit in here. But I would say probably like a 56 by 56 or a 60 by 60. Or if you're rolling them up, you can roll them up and put them in a line in there. Um, and it has two zippered pockets so you can store more stuff in it. So I thought that would be great because I have some diamond paintings that I would like to store away flat and not have to worry about rolling them up. So I'm gonna try to put them in here. Um, I would say the 56 by 71 that Diamond Art Club usually do, does may or may not fit in here. We're gonna check. I have Christmas Gnome Trio sitting right over here. So let me go grab it real quick for you. All right, so Christmas Gnome Trio is a 76 by 56, okay? And I'm gonna widen you out a little bit so you can see, try to see everything. Maybe. There we go. So we're going to lift you up. So I'm going to unroll this. So this 56 by 76 would fit in here. Okay. Because look how much space is on the sides. So you have all this space over here. And then you have more space over here. And then lengthwise. I can't really. Sh here, I'll put it on the floor. And I'll whip you guys around. How about that? So let me do that quick. All right, so as you can see, this is, like I said, this is a 56 by 71, okay? You're gonna see me in the frame here a little bit. So this is a 56 by 71, and as you can see, it fits perfectly. And all you'd have to do is unzip that top part. Slide it in there. Now I have somewhere safe and secure to put my diamond paintings when they're done, if I'm not using them. And because it's a soft portfolio, 
the strap that come inside go on the so outside here. It also has this comfort strap right here, which means I can throw this up under a mattress and it would fit perfectly and Christmas gnome trios in there. That is a pretty decent sized kit. So uh, yeah, I would highly recommend the soft portfolio from Arteza. Has a cool little logo over there. So that is one of the other things I purchased. You can also put say drills in this second drawer here. If you have extra drills you want to store with it, or if you're like, with my, in my case, I'm not done with it. So I could put the extra drills in that second storage area so that they're not flying all over the place. So if I was going on a trip or something, this is a great option because then also, because it's soft, boom, you can fold it. Okay. So would highly recommend the soft portfolio, which is probably now covered in dog hair because I didn't vacuum today, but we're not going to talk about it. So let's go over and find out what the last thing is that I got from the Arteza Black Friday sale. Now, the last thing I got from the Arteza sale was this. I told you guys a while ago that I wanted to get a little bit more organized in the coming year and I was going to buy a planner. Well, I did not know that Dime or that Diamond Art Club, good God that Arteza sold planners. They have all kinds of journals and planners with different designs and stuff on them. So I decided I was gonna check it out to see if I like it. And this is an academic planner. So if you're someone who's going to school um, and need to keep track of things, it has stickers in there for that. Obviously I'm not in school, I just need to get you know more organized. It has lazy day, which I'm here for, <laughs> study, due date, due date, which I can still use for videos, to-do list, and exam, and important stickers. And then we have these little flags here. Has your name thing here. And then it's separated by the month. So there's July. There's August, September, October, November. And we're in December, so we're going to go to December. So we can list all of our birthdays, what events we have coming up this month, the goals we have for ourselves this month, any notes we need to put down for this month. And then we have the weeks here. We have goals and reminders over here. We have every day in a little box over here. Even gives you the, uh, we have December solstice, Christmas Eve, New Year's, Christmas Day, Kwanzaa begins, last day of Hanukkah. So it has the, the things in it as well. Um, and then of course it has it by week or yeah, by week. So here is your seven day forecast. <laughs> here are seven days here for you that you can write stuff down on. Um, so if you have like more notes that you need to write down for the week, this is the week, the first week of December, second week of December, third week of December, fourth week. And then essentially it goes over into January, which is where you will find, come on, the last couple of days of December before it hits January, which did anybody realize that next year starts on a Saturday? I thought it started on a Sunday, but there you have it. So I really like that. So when we go to the back of the book, and of course it's uh, celestial, so I had I had to go with that. It goes from July to July, so July of this year to uh, July of next year. It has some note pages in the back, which is great. Whether you're doing academics or whether you just need to get your life together, I, look, listen, it's a great plan. It's a great planner. Like, it has some, a mission statement in it, apparently from Arteza but you have quite a few pages that are blank for notes. It is spiral bound and it has this really glossy cover. And I love the fact that it has Arteza's logo in gold down here. I'm not sure if these are actual star constellations. Some of them I recognize like the little dipper and stuff, but some of them kind of look like they just wanted to build like a little house. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's a real thing, but that is, I forgot, I had one more thing left that I wanted to open and show you guys. So this is still from the Arteza haul. And if I can find, I'll just use my scissors. 
This is seasonal stencils. So if you're someone that likes to do your own decorating at home or what have you, they have stencils. And I like doing stuff with um, vinyl and wood. So I thought this would be great to add. And they're seasonal, so let's see what they got. That and I wanted to see if they were plastic or if they, like, can I reuse them or what? So it comes in this little fold thing here. And let's see if we can tell what they are. So they are like a plastic material, so you can use them multiple times. You just have to be careful because they're, uh, they're flexible. So we have... Like if you like doing those long signs that say welcome, they have some of those. So there's C-O, E-L, there's M-E, oh, let's move the scissors. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> we're, we're missing, we're missing a W. Hold on a second here. Because I think when I took them out of the box, I jumbled them up a little bit. There it is. And then there's the W with some butterflies at the top of it. So we have the word welcome. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. And there's butterflies at the top, which of course you don't have to use the butterflies if you're just doing a regular sign. So that's the word welcome with butterflies. And then we have, let's see here. This one is family. Flip it the right way so you can see it. So we have family, where life begins and love never ends. And then we have let it snow, but not really in this house. <laughs> it doesn't say not really in this house. It just says let it snow. Home sweet home with the two little hearts. That's really cute. I like that. And then we have this here with the arrows. Looks like we have like a little fat bird and a deer head. And then we have this one here, which I'm apparently messing up here. This is our happy place. I like that one. That one's really cool. So they are a flexible plastic and you get 12 of them. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy spring. And we also have Hello Summer, but one of the little things on the ice cream cone isn't punched out all the way. But that's okay. We'll take care of that. There we go. Happy Hello Summer. So Hello Summer, Happy Spring. This is our happy place, family, where love, life begins and never ends. We have the deer with the uh, little fat bird, home sweet home. So we have a little bit of something for everyone in this stencil piece and you can paint on it you can use it for vinyl or whatnot um so say you want to do a project i'll have to probably do a project with one of these uh with the cricket and stuff and some wood and show you guys what i mean and then those long welcome signs that everybody likes to make uh yes hello and this didn't cost that much again this is one of the items i got on the black friday special so you guys will have to go over and check it out and i will be linking the Arteza website so you guys can go find these items. If I can link each item by itself, I will. Um, so there you have it. That is, okay, I promise. This time, this is the last thing I have from Arteza. <laughs> I went a little crazy on Black Friday. We're not gonna talk about it. Either way, back to the original part of the video. It, folks, that is my haul from Arteza for Black Friday, okay? I think I spent like maybe $200. It wasn't a whole lot. And especially seeing as how those markers themselves were $89 a piece regular price and they were down to $33.99. So, uh, I, I'm not, like, I get, like I said, I don't know what the price of them is now. But when I purchased them on Black Friday, um, they were $33.99. Which I'm going to guess they may be $39.99 maybe now. Yeah. 
So I got quite a few packages of markers. <laughs> I also got my planner. And of course we can't forget the soft portfolio, which I'm not picking up off the floor right now. But yeah, so I got a pretty good deal of Arteza stuff. And if you would like to go over and check out Arteza, they are still having sales. They, they are constantly having sales on stuff. Plus, like I said, you can use my discount code at the bottom to save yourself 10% off, which is, I think it's Crochet and Coffee 12. Um, I will have it pop up in the video. What time frame are we at? 46 minutes. All right, so that's it for me today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you've seen in this video, please let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions as best as I possibly can. But with that said, I got to get out of here, folks. Again, thank you so much for watching. If, you, uh, if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, I must now really bid you adieu. But not for reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. So please wear your mask, wash your hands. Don't touch your face in public. Keep your six feet and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys. There's so many markers. <laughs>